assalam alaikum students this lecture is for the class 5 we were discussing about the saudi arabia the land of hot sands today we will discuss about the topics like the sea travelers after the discovery of oil the lifestyle of the people of saudi arabia has completely changed that means saudi arabia is a deserted country when they found discovered the oil which is the need of an hour every country needs that because of the transportation because of the changing lifestyle because of the trade everything is possible when there is oil when there is transportation so the discovery of oil leads to the changing lifestyle of people of saudi arabia many people have shifted from rural to urban areas many people were lived in the villages but their lifestyle changed because of the money because of the oil so sh- they shifted to the urban areas or in the cities the cities of urban areas have all modern facilities with industries of cement petrochemicals steel fertilizers and food products that means that the oil has changed everything in the um, saudi arabia the people have changed their lifestyle even the modern cities have different industries that is cement industry petrochemical industries steel industry fertilizers and food products this leads to in the life changing phase of the people of saudi arabia petroleum is in the great demand all over the world as we know that we need petroleum every country needs petroleum the money earned from the export of petroleum used to improve the standard of living so when the people of saudi arabia gets the money they sell the petroleum and earn the money and this leads to the improvement in the standard of living so they improve they they use this cash this money for their development that is why petroleum is called the liquid gold so we can say that which mineral resources or which uh, natural resource is called liquid gold it is the petroleum and why it is found it is found in the Um, uh, Saudi Arabia or Arabian uh, countries besides industries there are all modern facilities like air conditioning houses vehicles skyscrapers skyscrapers uh, supermarkets hospitals etc in the cities uh, so not only the petroleum but they have the modern houses air conditioned houses why they have air conditioned houses more because of the temperature is a deserted area so there is very much high temperature vehicles supermarkets hospitals also in the cities arabic is the main language in saudi arabia like we have kashmir we have in kashmir we have kashmiri our uh, mother tongue so they have the arabic english is also to be um, to known to the people they also speak in english also in arabic so saudi riyal is the monetary unit of saudi arabia like we in india we have rupees in saudi arabia they have the currency called saudi riyal they have the riyal currency in the saudi arabia so the we can say in these things that not only the petroleum but industries steel fertilizer industry petrochemical industry this also leads to the development in the uh, uh, in the in the people of in saudi arabia in the lifestyle of the people of saudi arabia now the transportation there is a good network of ro- roads roadways in the saudi arabia all the cities of uh, saudi arabia are connected by good roadways railways and airways roadways means the roads airway airways means the trains and the airways means the flights they all have this good connectivity of roadways railways and airways A railway station operates between Riyadh and Ad- Adman, a port of Persian Gulf, Ras Tuna- Tuna- Tunara. Sorry, so a railway station is a railway system is connected between the Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, and the Adman, a port of Persian Gulf. It's a port in the Persian Gulf called Ras Tunara. Adman, Jeddah, and Yambu are the major seaports of Saudi Arabia. These are the ports are in the seas in the oceans so they have the sea ports called jeddah adman and yambu these three are the major ports in the saudi arabia they are connected with the railway the riyadh and adman are the connected uh, by the railway st- system 
so this country has developed so speedy in the past few years that barren desert has changed into one of the wealthiest countries of the world so this um, this all the development these all the resources especially the petroleum this leads in the development of the this country which was a desert it is still a desert country and it has the desert but now it's the wealthiest countries of the world now we will see the major cities in the saudi arabia there are a number of important or modern cities in saudi arabia as riyadh jeddah hufuf burayda etc jeddah situated on the eastern bank of the red sea is the main seaport of saudi arabia so we have many cities big cities in the saudi arabia but the jeddah is situated on the eastern bank of red sea it's the main seaport of saudi arabia seaport where they also do the trade through the ships also so jeddah is the main seaport in jeddah uh, it is on the eastern bank of red sea and it's the main seaport of saudi arabia king of the aziz international airport is also in the jeddah it's a big airport an international airport it is in which city in the jeddah riyadh is the capital of saudi arabia so riyadh is a capital of saudi arabia like in india we have the delhi as our capital so they they have the riyadh so we discussed about now we will uh, recapitulate it whole we saw the landscape of uh, land surface of the uh, saudi arabia that it has sand dunes and oasis sand dunes or the small small sand hills which uh, shift from one place to another place because of the wind in oasis oasis are the water bodies this water comes from the earth's surface and forms a small body in the desert this is called a oasis now we will see the climate as you know that it is located in the tropic of cancer this is a desert and in, and in days the temperature is very high very hot and in winters the temperature is very um, cold because of the sand the sand gets easily cold in the um, in the night vegetation as we have we know that in deserts they have the very less vegetation there is a cactus there is small shrubs in the deserts the people the people of saudi arabia we the women wear the abaya and the male wear the thob they also have these bandunes these are the nomads or semi nomads they travel from one place to another place and they rear cattle sheep goats etc industries they have the petroleum industries they have the cement industries fertilizers etc because of this they develop gets the country is very much developed religious importance they have the most important two uh, place that's makkah and madina these are the most religious places of the muslims and the, their religion is islam and their language is arabic their, the capital of saudi arabia is riyadh they have the important seaport in the jeddah which is in the eastern bank of red sea so all in all we can say the arabia arabia saudi arabia is a very rich country very developed country because of the discovery of oil they they leads to very much development they have the very much um, uh, developed cities like jeddah riyadh etra all the cities so this was about the saudi arabia that it's a deserted country and these industries these um, the people of the uh, lifestyle of the people has changed because they sell the petroleum they export many things they import many things you know to the different countries even petroleum is the basic thing which every country needs so this this money they use in the development of the saudi arabia in the development of the people of saudi arabia which leads to the change in lifestyle of saudi arabia and the people of saudi arabia thank you so much